The target for this mission will be the Mitsubishi Aircraft Assembly Plant, located on the eastern waterfront of the city of Nagoya, five miles south of the city center. On this trip, you will approach the target from the east, crossing the southern coast of Honshu, 25 miles east of the entrance to Isa Bay. This stretch of coastline is particularly easy to recognize because it is a long, smooth stretch of beach running roughly east and west. There is no other beach of this type, length and direction on the southern coast of Honshu. Your course to your target will be 323 degrees true from the coordinates 34 degrees 00, zero minutes north, 138 degrees 00, zero minutes east. If you are on course, you will cross the Atsumi Peninsula 17 miles from its western tip, halfway between the end of the peninsula and the entrance to Manana Bay on the east. There is no definite checkpoint on the coast to help you identify your point of landfall. But on the other side of the peninsula, two miles to the right of your course, you should see an octagonal airfield. This airfield should enable you to pinpoint yourself when crossing the enemy coast. After you strike the coast, you will alter your course to 343 degrees in order to make good your initial point. You should cross at Sumi Bay at its western end, two miles to the left of the airfield previously mentioned. You shouldn't be more than two miles to the left of this airfield. If you are, you will cut your bombing run too short. Your next checkpoint beyond Atsumi Bay will be the town of Okazaki. Okazaki is the only town of any size in the vicinity and has a large river one mile west of the center of the town. This river flows from north of the town branching four miles above it. Your initial point, the town of Koromo, lies on the western fork of this river, one mile west of it. It shouldn't be too hard to identify Koromo because it is the only town north of the city of Okazaki which lies on the western bank of the river. You may find it advisable to be a little to the right of your course on the way into Koromo so that you can roll out of your turn into the bombing run directly over the initial point. This will give you a longer bombing run than if you turn over the initial point itself. As soon as you are on the bombing run, you should pick up the target immediately, for the run is very short, although strong prevailing headwinds will probably give you some extra time. The target is easy to pick up. As mentioned before, it lies on Nagoya's eastern waterfront, which is broken up by many canals. Your target is completely surrounded by water, with Isa Bay on the east and canals on the other three sides. Incidentally, the waterways surrounding the rectangular area just south of the target are a good deal more prominent. Just north of the target, to the right, is a distinctive triangular point of land formed by the Hori River on the west and north, and the northern one of the two canals to the south and east. You've seen the course on the map. Now you're going to see the most important parts of it on a model of the terrain, approximately as you might see it in actual flight. Here's where you will first catch sight of the long, smooth beaches east of Isa Bay. We're 50 miles off the coast of Honshu now, approaching it on course. Ahead of you, you can see the long, smoothly curving stretch of beaches mentioned previously. The entrance to Isa Bay can be seen to your left. At Sumi Peninsula forms the eastern edge of the entrance to Isa Bay. You will cross at Sumi Peninsula at its eastern end. You can see there is no definite checkpoint there, but just across the peninsula, lying in a little bay, you can see an octagonal airfield. This airfield should be two miles to your right when you cross the coast. After crossing the coast and altering course to 343 degrees, you will fly over the western end of Atsumi Bay, the bay just north of the peninsula. You should leave Atsumi Bay at the point of land you can see jutting down from its northern shores just west of the end of the bay. 
Your initial point lies 17 miles inland from this point. We are east of the initial point now, turning left from north to a west heading. You are now looking west on course to the target. The arrow points to the target. There's our initial point, the town of Coromo, just across the river at the bottom of the screen. Now we are on course to the target. Southern Nagoya lies across those forested hills. You can see a peninsula jutting down from Nagoya into Isa Bay. The square piece of land at its southern end is Nagoya Airport. North is to the right, east is toward you. The target lies right on the waterfront, northeast of the airport. Now you can begin to see canals running into the bay. Two of these canals join, forming a triangular section of coast. This triangular bit of land lies just to the right of your target. We're almost over the initial point now. Let's tilt down and take a look at it. There it is across the river on the western bank. Now we're looking ahead again. You can see the target much more clearly now. It lies between two canals just to the left of that triangular section of land. Notice also the rectangular body of water northeast of Nagoya Airport. This is the Nagoya Harbor. Your target lies just below the lower right-hand corner of the harbor. And here's how the target would look when you're over the bomb release point. Let's take a look at the target as it would appear through the telescope of the bomb site. We're over the initial point now, and you can begin to pick up the target at the top of the screen. You should find the target as quickly as possible because your run is very short. Ahead of you, you can see the eastern waterfront of Nagoya. Notice the many canals flowing into it. There's that triangular section of land lying between two of those canals. Your target lies just to the left of this bit of land between two canals.
Now you can see the target quite clearly. Notice that it doesn't cover all of the land between the two canals, but only the left-hand portion of it. Just short of the target can be seen a small rectangular body of water which forms the eastern boundary of the target. And here's how your target would look when you're at the bomb release point. <laughs> 